First thing we're going to be doing is using the red shade from my Super Color palette. Now, if you don't have this palette, that's fine. You can use red lipstick. It will essentially do exactly the same thing. And I'm going to be using a pencil brush and just blending that out in a circle. You can use a brush or you can use your fingers if that's what you prefer. Next, with an eyeliner brush, I'm going to be doing tiny little dots on the skin and blending those out before using a fake cigarette just to figure out the rough outline and the size that I'll need to get it realistic. We don't want it to make it too big or too small, so I'm going to be using that as a guide. And then outlining everything with the eyeliner brush and then blending it out. Now on the centre I'm going to be using a mixture of yellow and then a very 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 pale pink and this will help make it look a little bit pussy and agitated. Once you've done that you want to take a little bit of the pink and just outline right in the inside to make it look like it's raised a little. And then with a tiny bit of dark red I'm going to outline that to make it look even more agitated. We're going to do a little bit of speckling along the outside as well, so just dab around the, the circle that you've drawn and then blend it out either with a brush or your fingers. We're using a little bit of rigid collodion and I'm just going to dab that in the circle. While I'm waiting for the rigid collodion to dry, I'm going to start working on a second one and this is going to be what a cigarette would burn would look like after you've left it for about a few hours. The first one's a kind of immediate impact after only a few minutes and then the second one is what it would look like after a few hours. So we're going to be doing a base colour of yellow and really blending it into the skin. And you want to do a red dot in the middle and then circle it with another red dot and then start blending that out. And I'm going to go back to the very pale pink colour and we're going to mix it with a little bit of yellow but not too much and we're going to circle that mixing in a tiny little bit of brown along the outside ring blending it a little bit more and then adding the rigid collodion once the rigid collodion is dried I'm going to go back in with the red colour I'm just going to dot that around just do it roughly for the moment and then taking the pencil brush I'm going to blend it out but you could also use your fingers as well. The heat is very good for making this kind of product blend very easily but you can use whichever one you prefer. I'm going to add a tiny little bit of dark red around the outside to make it look more angry and inflamed. And that's it, you're done. Take it back